Christian van der Klauw is a Dutch watchmaker and brand with the same name. Recently watchmaker Pim Koeslag, another watchmaker from the Netherlands, took over the helm of the company. The first watch that he's introducing is a revamped version of the Ariadne, which is a classic in the Van der Klauw collection. We will take a closer look at the new Ariadne, and more specific at two of the five new models. One features a grain salmon dial, this one, and another one comes with a turquoise dial, also with a beautifully grained surface. But let me first say a few words about Christian van der Klauw, the man that is. He was born, raised and trained in the Dutch city of Leiden. This is also the city where none other than Christian Huygens, the inventor of the pendulum and clock, started his studies back in 1645. Here van der Klauw's love for astronomy started and he wanted to combine the mathematically predictable movements of celestial bodies with a clock mechanism. After Christian van der Klauw had completed his training at the School of Instrument Makers and an additional clockmakers course, he started working for the producer of Friesian wall clocks. In 1974 van der Klauw started his own business and presented his first clock with astronomical complications. It was the start of an exceptional story that made him one of the best clockmakers in the world. He received an honorable membership of the ASCE, the Swiss Academy of Independent Watchmakers, back in 1989. In 1992, he won the award for the most innovative movement design for his Pendule Variable. And two years later, he started working on his first wristwatch. With Christian van der Klauw, Satellite du Monde. In, although in 1999, he presented his masterpiece, the Planetarium, equipped with the world's smallest mechanical planetarium. And this remains a highlight in the collection until today, and also remains the smallest planetarium in the world. Such a beautiful watch. In 2009, Christian van der Klauw felt it was time to step back and handed over the brand to Daniel and Maria Reinges, who decided to focus the brand exclusively on astronomical watches. In 2002, so last year, master watchmaker Pim Kuslag, who you might know for his impressive work at Frédéric Constant, is taking over the brand. The watch we will be talking about today is a classic in the Christian van der Klauw collection. It might not be as complex as the planetarium, but it remains nevertheless true to the philosophy of van der Klauw and features a series of complications that can be related to astronomy. This watch, the Ariadne, has been around for many years already and uses a classic combination of an automatic chronograph with a complete calendar with an elegant pointer date, a day and night indicator and a moon phase display. In the past, this watch has been released in several iterations. Most of the models had silvery white dials with a stamped guilloche pattern, either in a gold or a stainless steel case. Some editions, although, had a hand guilloche dial by none other than Jochen Benzica. And there has been even a more technical version with a carbon fiber dial. But something important happened recently. Christian van der Klauw has a new direction, with Dutch watchmaker Pim Kuslag joining the brand as co-owner and technical director. For the record, the man has been one of the driving forces behind the Swiss-Dutch brand Friedrich Constant as of 2003 already, plus he's the co-founder of high-end brand Atelier de Monaco. The new Christian van der Klauw Ariane models you will see here are the first watches to leave the workshop under his new leadership. What has changed? Technically, not much. We're still talking about an automatic chronograph with a complete calendar and a moon face. Visually, however, the dials are entirely different. Sleeker, more modern, bolder in style and in color. Before we look precisely at what's new, all five new references of the Ariadne are encased in the typically van der Klauw stainless steel round case that is 40 mm. Fully polished, the case has gentle curves and elongated straight lugs with a screw-like cabochon. Another distinctive element, the chronograph features pretty distinctive pushers. It's all very Christian van der Klauw, including the onion-shaped crown and the domed bezel. No surprises here. In the same vein, the movement and the display, two characteristic elements of the Ariadne, are almost untouched. Inside the case is the Calibre CVDK 775H, which is, you might have guessed it, the tried and tested Valjoux 7751 architecture. This movement is fully equipped with a complete calendar and a moon face. It indicates the date on the periphery of the dial with a so-called pointer date. Very elegant. 
and the day of the week and the month are shown in two separate apertures at 12 o'clock. And at 6 o'clock there's a moon phase indicator. And at 9 o'clock is a 24 hour scale acting as a day and night indicator. And let's not forget that the Ariadne also features a chronograph. Looking through the sapphire case back, you can see the familiar Valjoux base movement. Here with classic decoration, including blued screws, circular graining and Geneva stripes. What really elevates the movement is the rotor. It's done by famous engraver Jochen Benzinger and shows a guillage pattern as well as a gold-plated sun, which is the logo of the brand, also named Sun with the 12 claws. And that's because Klau in Dutch means claw. So let's talk about the real upgrade here, which are the new dials. As said, there are five editions in total. Three of them, silver, blue and anthracite, are available from Christian van der Klaus retailers. And then there are the two models that we focus on, in turquoise and salmon. Both limited editions of 50 pieces, exclusive to the Dutch watch retailer Reyersen. Compared to the previous editions of the Ariadne, these new models have a completely different dial. More modern, more depth, more color too. They really change the look of the watch and give it much more presence and a more high-end feel. They feature a frosted background, which looks fabulous, especially in the turquoise and salmon here with raised circular brushed rings around the subdials, which offer a pretty nice contrast with the silver color. These new dials are paired with elegant applied Breguet numerals and hands, both colored blue. And now Christian van der Klaus logo proudly stands at the dial at 3 o'clock. Right, if this is still clearly the same Ariadne watch as before, at least technically, I'm really amazed by the new design of the dial and how it changes the look of the watch. I'm curious to hear what is your favorite, so please do let us know in the comment box below. Altogether, seeing the new looks for the Ariadne makes me really curious to see what's up next for Christian van der Klauw in the future. Thanks for watching, hope to catch you for the next video.